Hello everyone, I am Scutlist, and welcome back to this playthrough of Warriors Orochi 4. And I do hope you like Guan Yin Ping, because you're going to be seeing a lot of her throughout the rest of this playthrough. She'll be the ever-reliable constant in my team going forward, but the other two characters will likely change... Uh, probably every single battle. But anyway, let's get started with the next battle, the rescue of Takeda. And also our first battle of Chapter 2. Hopefully Chapter 1 is not an indication of how long chapters are in this game. And before we begin, you may notice the phrase Elite Members Below the Difficulty Select. That is pretty much the same thing as the recommended characters of Orochi 3. And much like the recommended characters, I will probably just completely ignore it. Anyway, let's begin. この地において徳川は後末に職の面々が手を結ぶ。彼らは反乱軍を結成し、強大な敵と対峙しようとしていた。戦国の魔王織田信長。彼は北条や今川などの軍友と手を組み、勢力を拡大。次の標的を劉備
is a buff that is a buff that speeds up her attack, speeds up her attacks, and adds elements to some of her other attacks. If you want to use Yin Ping effectively, you need to be constantly doing that. One bit of unique magic seems to always take those things out instantly. Hold on. Someone's targeting me with magic. Okay, I need to get out of this situation. Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting to be able to kill her in just one move, so. Anyway, we have Hutcher and Katoro. Kataro here. Hutcher is actually one of the <laughs> generics that can kind of stand out, that kind of stood out to me in Dynasty Warriors 8, and I believe 7 as well, because he notably is wearing a mask, and I think he's the only generic that actually does that. He stopped wearing the mask in 9, though. <laughs> I didn't even take the time to look at the battle objectives. I do like the conjure the conjure mount option because amongst the Warriors games I played, I've had lots of problems with the path finding of the horses when you're when you're calling them to you. Especially in Samurai Warriors 4-2 where they had this weird drunken horse con thing with them, they would just follow you in this weird zigzag. Okay, it didn't hit him as hard as it hit Kai. I wonder why it did so much damage to Kai. Uh, for unique magic, that could have done a bit more damage. I think he somehow dodged the first hit. Okay, the peons really know how to get in your way, don't they? Now that takes care of that. Okay, 
織田の連中を助けないとまずい弟よどこへ行くのかな Oh, there's one of those Grim Reaper things somewhere around here. Hold on. Won't be able to do real damage to much of anything until I take care of him. Uh, strictly speaking, you can re re regenerate your magic faster by attacking a, atta attacking a Chaos Origin normally, but I find that a bit risky, considering how hard the other enemies around here are hitting me, like that. I wonder if this is even the direction I'm supposed to be going across the map at. I can see the blips on the map just fine, but I wonder if I could have. if I was supposed to go down the lower route. Uh, Josh, you just praised me, but, uh... I was under the impression he, he was an enemy. One of the officers I defeated said something about everything going according to Joshu's plan. What did Yoshimoto get here? Oh, Ujiasu, uh... Yeah, ka kind of a sad fact, uh... Ujiasu's voice actor passed away not too long ago. I think he's being voiced by someone new in this game. Since I'm focusing on the gameplay, I can't listen closely to the voice to tell if it is someone new. Stop blocking! No, again, I think I may have been fighting her a little bit earlier. I'm just assuming that because she's our, she's missing half of her health. Okay, one other problem with Juron is that. The enemies, the enemies seem to be able to, uh, interrupt him right before his charge attack very easily. Either that or I just have consistent bad luck with him. Ooh, Mitsuhira! He's my favorite character of the Samurai Warriors games. But since he's with the Oda and we're currently... Don't run away, I'm using my unique magic! 
But since he's with the Oda right here and we're fighting with the Oda, he's probably not going to be recruited anytime soon. That explosion you keep seeing is what happens when you hit an enemy officer with magic when they're trying to use magic. It also cancels their magic attack. I think he's trying to get back to his anchor point or something. <laughs> Quickly assist Yukimara, let's just ignore everything here. There's nothing more frustrating in Warriors games than losing just because an ally AI can't take care of itself. I imagine I could have taken the time to ki kill, all the kill all my enemies, but... Eh. Actually, I'm just n noticing the music I'm hearing. Is this E from Dynasty Warriors 4? Uh, first order of business, we need the Chaos Origin dead. Okay, clearly Kenshin's R plus X is not up to the task of taking out a Chaos Origin all in one shot. Now things are back to normal. Say this is not the opponent to be using the team magic on, even if the bar just refilled. <laughs> Let me change. Ah, that w that should have been a very very good look at the interrupt your enemy explosion. And Perseus is here now, with all the uh, battles with just the Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors characters. I was wondering if we were ever going to get to that old main plot business. 
But we ha we just ran from Lubu in Battle 1, but let's see what it's like to actually face a deification now. Oh, oh my. I'm not sure how much health I just had there, but I think he just straight up one shot at me. Fortunately, I can just continue from a checkpoint. Oh my, I've lost quite a bit bit of progress. I'm gonna need to defeat uh Ran Maru again, I think. If only I'd been checkpointed right after I took out Ranmaru. Well, that's our first defeat of this Let's Play. And we can skip this this time. Let's see, what would be a good way to approach this fight, though? I think he just one-shot Juran last time. I just need to keep a very close eye on what he's doing at all times. And I should be okay. Perhaps I should also focus on unique magic until, uh... At least until I, my characters run out of Muso meter. Yeah, just make sure you don't get hit by his magic, and it looks like this isn't too much of a problem. Uh, move! Okay. I think stopping to attack the peons may be a little too risky here. If only one of those anchors were right here, I could recharge my magic a lot faster. I don't think that even hit him. I think Yukimura knocked him too far away. At the very least, y Yukimura is keeping him distracted.
I think Kenshin's unique magic has been the best on damaging him so far. Now Kenshin doesn't have the Muso meter to do unique magic anymore, at least until it regenerates a bit. And this should end it. And I can't attack anymore. We are done. Okay, I definitely underestimated deifications. But it does make me interested in being able to have a deification for myself. たすかったよ。いや、救援がなかったら危ないところだったね。それにしても信長のあの妙な力は一体なんか蛇みたいな変な腕をつけてましたよね。蛇。人ならざる兄弟の力。そして時も場所も超えて集った英雄たち。のうもいやな感じがするね。思い過ごしならいいんだが。ひとまずあの力の謎を探ってみたいね。このままじゃ何度挑んだところでやられちゃうよ。あの腕輪を狙っていたもの。ペルセウスとのでしたか。彼は何
Next time, we will be looking at the rescue of Uesugi. So until then, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.